Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I am Dissonance, and this is episode 5 of our single-player Let's Play series. Last episode, we got a number of enchantments for our pickaxe, and sadly, we also died. So today is going to be about getting some of those levels back and finishing some other important enchantments. Now, last time we finished this diamond pickaxe with efficiency 4 and unbreaking 3. This is going to be excellent for our strip mining. However, if we want more of the shiny diamonds, we are really going to need to find a fortune pickaxe, and that is what I am hoping to get to today. So, let's get started. First up on the to-do list is our mine. This is this is pretty sad for an entrance. Um, I, as I said, I know it's early game, I'm not doing anything crazy yet, but I do want to spruce this up just a little bit, so let's take care of that. Okay, and just like that, we have a much safer little entrance to our mine, and I think it fits in a little bit more. Uh, we're going to go through and just texture this real quick. I've done this a number of times on camera, so I won't explain it again for you. Alright, and just like that, as usual, a few different types of blocks added in. Just gives it a lot more of a rugged feel, and I uh, really love the texture. So we are good to go with our mining entrance. All right, so for today, we're going to use a variety of methods in order to get some experience. Uh, number one, we will go ahead and harvest some wheat, which we will feed to our cows. That will give us a little bit of experience. Uh, we can possibly kill a few cows if we have some extra, uh, cook up the beef. And then also, we can chop down these trees, cook up some charcoal. All of that will give us a bit of experience. Nothing crazy yet, but it will be a nice little start for us. So let me tend to the farms, and we will be back. Okay, we'll start by cooking up two full stacks of charcoal for now. So taking a look at this tree farm, I have way more saplings than I could ever need, but that's fine. I have a plan for them. Today I'm going to show you a quick little tree farm that you can make. And uh, what's great about it is it grows much more densely, much more closely together, so you don't have to waste as much time running around. The only problem is it does not provide enough saplings to regrow itself all the time. So I do have to alternate between spacing them out so you get more leaves and more saplings. And then after that, when I have plenty of saplings, I do this more condensed version. So let's take a look at it. So it's fairly simple. We're just going to be planting squares of trees. I put torches in the middle because when it is fully grown, it will be pitch black. It will be a solid wall of wood. Okay, um, so you can have mobs spawn in here if you don't put these torches in. So I just do like so, putting a torch in each corner. And I usually just do three rings. Now this is a great amount of trees. Now this is a really good amount of trees. But again, it does not provide enough saplings to um, keep providing for itself. So you will have to do a few farms where you space the trees out a little bit. Much more condensed, you'll see uh, they'll spring in like this and we'll have just a wall of wood to, to take down. Another round on the cows. And just by farming a few basic resources that we need anyways, we've got to level 8. So. Just a couple minor updates to the mine. Haha. <laughs> First off, since I died last time, I've made an adjustment. So I can drop down on this side. I have water below. Sploosh. And I will not die anymore from fall damage. After that, um, I have just moved this chest over. And I guess that's really it. Very minor updates to the mine. 
I've done a little bit of organization here. I'm going to try to cook up some more stone. Uh, yeah, some more stone. This should give us a little bit more room in here. And stone is something I often use to build with. Oh, I suppose while I'm here, I have plenty of iron. We might as well make a full, full set of iron armor, huh? If you don't know, it takes 24 pieces of whatever material it is you're using to craft a full set of armor. An important number to keep in mind. Of course, I already had the headpiece and chest piece. So we are good in that department. Another tiny touch up, just adding a little wooden fence to this. So I don't fall in. So, for the fun part of the episode today, we are going to do a little exploring and see if we could potentially find ourselves a spawner. Now, we're just going to take a peek, see if we could get anything worthwhile. Eh, quick little power wand that's stronger. Stronger than nothing. Ooh, and I hear a skeleton nearby, actually. Oh, man. Could get Feather Falling 4, that's pretty great. What would it be on an axe? Silk Touch. Nice. Far from 30, though. So let's just get a little extra power on our bow. Yeah, not bad. Better than nothing. We will put back anything we don't need for now. Okay, and off in this direction we have... It's very close. Uh, off in this direction, we have an unexplored part of an old cave, which we blocked up just to make our enchanting room. We are going to go check that out now and see if we can find ourselves a spawner by any chance. Oh, look at that, a very quick dead end. Okay. Wow, that was exciting, huh? Well, let's do a little bit more spelunking, shall we? I could actually use the chickens because I have almost no arrows. Obviously, we are far from infinity. I will mostly be using a sword, but if I can get a hold of a few arrows for the bow, that would be helpful. Wow, no feathers. Never lucky. This looks like a... nope. Now, there was another cave around here somewhere, not too far. Uh, looks like this goes down a bit. Alright, since we had no luck around our little cave up here that's uh, actually very, very small, we're going to go down into our mine. There's one other spot where we know there's for sure a cave. And this was down by our obsidian that we obtained last time. We're going to go check that out. Okay, nice big patch of cobblestone. That means that I had to patch this up. Let's take a peek. And sure enough, here's our cave system. Dead end. Now, did it continue this other direction? Hmm. Just more lava. Lots of lava. We're actually very unlucky with these caves today. Very, very short. We're going to go check out one more. Hopefully there's a little bit more to it and we have a chance of finding a spawner. So right here... I can't believe I didn't... <gasps> I broke my own rules. I didn't patch this up. Now I hear a spider. And a zombie. So we definitely have some creatures down here. Let's take a peek, shall we? Now, I don't like coming up with things above me. 
It's always a bit dangerous. The flowing water can be problematic too. So we're just going to shut that down. So this is going to be a nice full system for us to explore a little bit. Let's just make sure we don't fall into this lava. You never know when you might up end up running from creatures. Aha, uh -huh, hello! Oh, well that was silly of you. Goodbye. Now here another one. Is there a spawner or is it just, just a couple of zombies spawning near each other? I don't love fighting next to a pool of lava either. Never really a good idea. Just want to take a look around. Oh, so much lava, I don't really want to be fighting here. Sounds like there's something off in this door. Ooh, I see diamonds over there. That would be cool to get to. There's definitely something through this wall. Let's see if we can't find our way over somehow. Oh my goodness. go. Let me just turn these guys down a little bit there. So loud. Yeah, see the problem is all oh, all this lava. This is not where I want to be fighting. Caves are fine, but fighting around lava is just terrifying. It can just go so wrong so quickly. A bit of lapis down there. And we're just kind of lighting this up as we go. Not really looking to fight a lot of monsters. Ideally, would just like to find a spawner. Although I haven't heard any spawner sounds either, which is not very promising. Sometimes you get a little sound effect. It tells you you're near a spawner. Oh, I hear a skeleton. Interesting. Okay, okay, so there's some stuff up that way. Hello. Someone's after me, and they have the high ground. Oh yeah, there's a few there. Oh, behind me too. Hello. Another one. He's kind of a tough guy. Alright, so we're up to level 10. Not bad, not bad. Just keep lighting this up. More lava. Oh, so annoying.
Not going to bother with that coal for now. I do wish I had brought more torches. So we've run into a few creatures, but we're really not finding any dungeons, unfortunately. Whatever you want to call them. Spawning spawning areas. I was hoping that we could find a little spawner. That way we could make a, um, a small experience farm. There are other ways to do this, but... This is kind of one of the easiest in the early game, is to just find a spawner and make an experience farm. I would have loved to show you how to do that. We might have to make a vanilla one, though. But that's just fine. We can do that as well. Now, oh, I have gotten myself a little turned around here. Let's see if I can't find my way back home. Oh, well, hello. You stay right back here. What an unsuccessful little venture. Okay, so while we were off unsuccessfully finding a spawner, we did get about a level and a half there in smelting. Just a lot more stone for us to use, which is always very, very nice. And this is quickly going to not be enough space. I will probably just make an extra chest specifically for stone. Let's go ahead and move that over now. We'll start with the cobble. You know what? We could probably do just a full <laughs> chest of cobble. And that will just make this all easier to sort. Ah, just in time for sunrise. Well, folks, I'm not gonna lie to you. We have been very unlucky with everything so far, and this is a much less successful episode than I was hoping, but we shall power on. I am level 12 now, so that's at least about six levels, and we have a couple other things to check on as well. First off, our charcoal is done. There's another level or so. Also will allow us to make many, many more torches. Here's that wall of trees that I was talking about. Very easy to chop down quickly. Yes, and I got the arrow as well. Very easy to chop down quickly and uh, will allow us to, again, get more wood with less saplings. And at least the farm is helping us to level up a bit. There we go, between the charcoal, feeding the cows. We're getting some levels slowly but surely, only 14 right now, but we're nearly there, and we could probably bring down the cow numbers a little bit for some more experience. We are going to expand the wheat a little bit, so I need to be able to continue feeding all of these cows. And this is one of those farms where could I make it more efficient? Absolutely. Do I kind of like just having all of the crops growing around this little pond? Yeah, I do. So I think I'm going to leave it just like that for now. All right, we have just been looking around not too far from my base. I have found a little cavern heading down, so we're going to check it out. See if it... Oh, my goodness, another one. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you can't win them all. Did I look for a spawner for hours? Yes. Did I find anything? Absolutely not. Did I have a good time anyways? Of course! Thank you so much for joining me today and showing your support, even though I got basically nothing done that I wanted to. I hope you enjoyed all the same to spending time here on my channel, and I promise in the next one we will have much more success. We will figure out this XP farm and get it done. Until then, this is Dissonance, signing off. One last thing I forgot to say. I'm very sad, and if you want to make me happier, go ahead and smash that like button. Also, subscribe if you want to see my future videos. Bye-bye!